Are you, are they ever going to bring map or map or character banning into Valorant? I think they should definitely bring map banning into Valorant comp for sure. Uh, I think it would be nice. I, I honestly don't like the fact that the maps are random. It feels kind of bullshit. Like sometimes you just get a map that you just hate. Sometimes you get a map that you enjoy. So if you could just ban a map that you don't want to play ever, it'd be nice. I mean, that's how it is in pro play. We have perma ban maps. So I don't see why we, we can't have that in ranked. I mean, also, I think that for deathmatch and stuff, you should be able to queue what map you're going to play. Because let's say, for an example, there's pro players that like doing deathmatch, right? But let's say you're going to play a match on Abyss, and then you get a fucking deathmatch on Fracture, and the map is not even in the pool right now. Then it's like, what, what the fuck? Like, I want to practice for the map that I'm actually trying to, to play and remember the angles on. And then I just get a map that's not even in the pool. It's kind of kind of annoying. Um, and I think for agent bans, I I still I I think I'll I'll still like bring this opinion to my grave. I think Valorant should still do one agent ban per team. I think they should. I think it would spice up the game a lot and fix some of the staleness that it has. Plus, if there's a character that is just utterly bullshit. Like, if you have just a character that's just unfamily broken and there's nothing you can do about it, you just ban it. So you don't have to play against it. But at the same time, I think the map pool doesn't allow for agent bans to exist because there's certain agents on certain maps that are actually essential. And by that reason, for the game, that's just bad map design, in my opinion. I think bad... A, uh, a game based on abilities and if your map relies on one character being essential within every composition the map is a bad map or there's a there's a fundamental part of the map that is lacking entirely that's like playing an overwatch map and there's only one character usable on this one certain map it just doesn't make sense but how can it evolve constitutions if the agent is banned is essential to the cop well that's why i'm saying there's certain maps that are like that and it's only like that because of bad map design. That's why. I think the biggest example is Icebox. I think Icebox is one of the worst designed maps. Like Icebox and... I mean, Abyss is just bad overall. But Icebox has problems that other characters can fix and mediate. Um, here, let me, let me show for an example. Okay. Let's take let's take Icebox for an example. And let's see what other smoke controllers can do compared to Viper. Now, if you're playing another smoke's character, if you're hitting B, you could smoke like this, this, then all of this is open right here, which is like pretty dangerous angles. You could try throwing a smoke like this, this, top side's still open. You can smoke top side, you can smoke like this. Guess what? Snowman's open. So there's stuff like this on B site, which are just that's just how the site is. And um that's why you need Viper. So Viper can literally wall the entire fucking site off like that. So that's like one thing that like Viper is essential. The other thing, I mean, putting the poison orb at mid and popping it every round, super, super strong. Lurk here, lurk here, lurk here. Three different lurk lines that you have to be constantly scared of at all times. What character is the only character in the game that can actually deal with this lurk? KJ. Because KJ can throw the turret, um, what is it? There's the turret that you can throw like this. You can throw a turret there where it like, looks in the tube, looks here. And then KJ looks on this side. Or you can just even put like a alarm bot on this side if you want. Uh, you can put the turret back here, which holds this space and the window. Um, but even then, like, there's so... The fact that you have to do this with this character is like, it's kind of annoying. Um, and I don't think it should be like this. In my opinion, get the tube out of here. The tube is, doesn't add anything into the gameplay. Open up mid a bit and make it so people feel like they're able to take more space at mid and mid feels more a part of Icebox. Icebox, mid feels like an accessory rather than like a core piece of the map. And the only thing that they've changed about the map other than like a site, I guess, in a while is they put a window in the tube. But that doesn't really do anything. The map by design is just kind of shit. And if, if it like literally is just like a hallway in each lane. But you'll notice a lot of the time pro teams 
pro teams that are able to like what are what a pro team's job is is to like mid max and like try to find the most efficient way to play a map as possible now i want you to go and look at any single pro vod of a top team and watch how they play icebox and you will notice oh, icebox is Smoke. only played wait, four wait, maybe, one uh, or five oh you go cypher I that's go... the only strats you can do because mid is just bad mid is literally bad bro early on in valorant's exception if you remember like there are certain teams that would try running like strats oh, where they go into the tube go up here and they like plant top here but then they wouldn't win these maps because they're trying to do shit like that early on in the game it's just it's just a bad design but fracture nope. be something similar fracture has a very unique play style and i actually do think fracture is a good map they should have brought back fracture in my opinion and they should put fracture in over uh abyss i think abyss needs a hard rework on every bomb site and the middle honestly it's just bad um it shouldn't feel like your rotations take 23 seconds in order to rotate from b to a that's fucked up like if i wanted to go do that i would go and play PUBG and just run around and loot uh i'm i'm here to play a game where my there's characters on my screen that i can shoot at i don't want to be rotating constantly like one of the worst things about abyss is just the rotation times um Pearl's also disgusting though. I'd rather play Abyss than Pearl. Pearl's pretty bad, but Pearl's not as bad. Pearl, they 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 fixed some stuff about Pearl, but it is not the greatest though. But there is uh there is some stuff on Pearl. Like Pearl is playable, but it's it's not enjoyable. But it's playable. I think that's like the most important thing. I think Abyss is not playable. Split split's a good map. Splits a map where like every you can do whatever. 